today I do have something interesting to do because today when I ran, I was like, you know what? I've always been using my watch to record. Why don't I use my phone and see, will the pacing be different? Will the time be different? Will, I, will the phone make me feel that I'm faster compared to when I use the watch or will it make me feel like I'm slower? Well, it made me feel like I was faster, right? My pace was like 4, 420 something which is a lot faster than what I normally uh, do when I'm using my watch. So this time I'm gonna truly test it. I'm walking to the track. I'm going to do just a 1K run and I'm gonna start it with my watch and my phone and I'm gonna see the difference. Let's see the difference. Okay, the one kilometer run is done and the results are in. I'm surprised. They actually very much surprised me. I thought there was gonna be a large difference. But as you can see right now, there's actually not that much of a difference. Look at that. So there's one more second on the Garmin. However, however, I did stop the Garmin slightly later and that is likely why there's one more second on the Garmin time compared to the phone time. So I think the pacing and the distance measuring is very, very similar. If there's any error, it's less than 1%. Depending on how Strava and Garmin do their rounding, it could even be less than half a percent. So it's really, really small. And uh, another thing I was comparing it to, I didn't mention, is the track. So I wanted to see Garmin versus phone versus track. And I stopped at exactly the 1,000 meter mark on the track. Boom, exactly one kilometer on the Garmin and the phone. So they're all synced up very well, very, very well. What's a bit weird is that they both state an elevation gain of eight to nine meters, which doesn't make any sense because it's a flat track. Um, I severely doubt there's eight plus meters of elevation gain in one kilometer of running there. Also, there's a giant difference in the calories. Um, Strava estimated the calories to be like 80 something or 90. Um, I don't know why, but Strava severely overestimates the amount of calories burned. The Garmin measurement's much more accurate, 57. For a guy of my size, 136 pounds, yeah, I'm gonna burn about 57 calories in a kilometer of running. Uh, it's a lot more accurate. Um, so don't trust Strava on that. Uh, aside that, yeah, I'm very shocked. Uh, so you guys, maybe there's no point of getting a smartwatch. Maybe it's all over hype. Just use your phone. You can get one of those phone holders, put them on your arm, slap it on the arm, and away you go, you know? What are those, like 20 bucks, 10 bucks? I don't know, I never had one. I probably will never get one. I run with my phone in my hand. I'm old school. Actually, I guess I'm not old school. Old school would mean that I don't even use any devices. I used to be very old school and not use devices, but it's nice to know. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent, I'm going on a tangent. Um, like and enjoy, subscribe, guys. It's a beautiful day here in sunny White Rock. Just like, enjoy, and subscribe, and donate. Donate money. I. If you don't know, I mean, I live on the streets. Why do you think I'm always just outside walking and running? My skin tone has increased four shades in the last two weeks because the sun is absolutely fucking burning my skin. It is just smoldering. Is that a word? I don't know, but it should be a word. And it should mean that you're just scorched in the heat and getting very dark and burned. I'm smoldering right now. Guys, smoldering is a word. I knew it was a word. I knew I didn't make that up. It was hiding in the memory banks. Vocabulary 